plant profile, azaleas. A certain Washington Post garden columnist calls them overused and garish, but we cannot get enough of them every spring. From native varieties to Asian hybrids, there is a perfect azalea for most every local garden. They dazzle in shades of shimmering pinks and pale peaches to deep reds and pure white. You can put together a collection of early, mid, and late season blooming varieties and have an azalea flowering in your garden for six months or more. Technically, with the newer reblooming varieties, the flowering season can extend all the way through the year practically. Plant them where they can attain their full size and you will never need to prune them. They do not love to be in hot afternoon sun and prefer an acidic soil, but basically they're low maintenance and rewarding shrubs. Benjamin Y. Morrison, the famed horticulturalist, who was the founder and first director of the U.S. National Arboretum in Washington, D.C., is noted for crossbreeding different strains of azaleas to produce the Glendale cultivars, which are prevalent today throughout the eastern United States. Morrison lived in Tacoma Park, Maryland, and many of his Glendale introductions can be seen throughout the city's private home gardens and public parks. You don't want to miss the seasonal display of azaleas and mass plantings at the U.S. National Arboretum. See also our list of 20 plus more top viewing spots for azaleas in the Washington, D.C. region on our blog at washingtongardener.blogspot.com. Azaleas, you can grow that. This video was produced by Washington Gardener Magazine. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.